YouTube, once again, it's Kennard Vernon Stewart here for the podcast. Uh, talking about Auburn sports, go ahead and like the video, comment, and subscribe to Vernon Speaks Sports Auburn. A beautiful Monday afternoon. Got some breaking news about Auburn basketball. But before we get into that, uh, like the video, comment, and subscribe to Vernon Speaks Sports Auburn. And as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger War Eagle at the tail end of the Derek Mason drama at Auburn as defensive coordinator Derek Mason steps down, presumably for a job at Oklahoma State that has not been confirmed as of yet. The Auburn fan base kind of sort of seemed to be spelling a little doom and gloom among the Auburn football program, which I don't think makes sense just yet. But we'll just have to see. You know, a lot of you don't really want to sunshine pump this thing because we really don't have enough information to see where things are headed. And I do I do know that recruiting has not seemed to be a loser in this because Auburn is continuing to reel guys in and also being able to retain some key players, especially on the offensive line. I think that's going to prove very huge for the Tigers. But for the reason that we're on this video, I hope you all are in celebratory mode because your Auburn basketball team coached by Bruce Pearl is currently the number one team in America. These guys play very well on the hard court. Matter of fact, I got a chance to check these guys out a little bit on Saturday. I, I Sometimes I'm not really big on basketball. Um, I'm I was in a situation when I was in high school, I actually was better at basketball, but actually loved football a little bit more. That's probably why I was a little bit more successful in football. But back to the Auburn Tigers, though. Auburn Tigers riding a 15-game winning streak all the way to history as Auburn is the number one team in the country for the first time in school history. They got pretty close in Matter of fact, when I was in college at Auburn back in 2000 as the number two team, because when they were talking about Auburn, this being the the first time in history that Auburn made it, uh, well, not made it, but were the number one ranked team in the country, I thought, well, damn, I, I thought um, we were ranked. No, And a lot of us thought that. We were like, well, shit, I thought we were ranked before back in 1999, but that wasn't the case. Two was the highest ranking of that year. That was a very good basketball team. However, this is a really good basketball team. Lately led by Walker Kessler, last three games averaging about 17 points per game. Kessler has been lights out. He's been definitely dangerous in the paint. That's why his, you know, field goal percentage is so high because he, I mean, dunks the ball a lot of the time. That's that's about as high percentage as you can get. Now, Here's where things get really solid. I I remember that team back in 2018 for Auburn where things were going good. They were kind of, you know, they they were um, on a roll, but they had some key injuries down the stretch and they limped into the SEC tournament, barely won the SEC regular season tournament, limped through the SEC tournament and then got blasted by Clemson 84 to 53 in the national tournament so I don't think this is going to be that kind of team this team is very solid they and and they have a lot of scoring balance which I like Jabari Smith leads the team with 15.7 points per game but Katie Johnson Wendell Green Walker Kessler Alan Flanagan even contributes at 7.9 points per game off the bench um I think this is a a recipe, a formula for a high level of success because here's where I saw Auburn is is such a dangerous team. They drive the ball down court offensively. Then they set you up with the high-low game with Kessler, whether he kind of dances around um, the paint. And the point guard can lure – he had, you have to respect the point guard because the, or or the guard in general because they have the ability to – shoot and score around the perimeter or drive it all the way to the basketball or they have the option to kick the ball out or and you respecting the kick out or the drive then now you have an alley-oop to Jabari Smith or Walker Kessler makes them very dangerous and so much they can do then what doesn't hurt is your big men can shoot they can shoot Jabari Smith shoots like a damn guard 
Very sweet with the jump shot at three-point range. So on top of that, these guys are good on defense. They're really good on defense, and they pressure you. They create anxiety. They create turnovers. And I think this team has the formula to be very successful down the stretch. They beat a really good Kentucky basketball team whom – I think Auburn is going to have to look out for them again. Alabama's a good basketball team. They really have to be careful with this Missouri game coming up. Uh, Missouri has taken some some good teams uh, to the to the limit. We'll talk a little bit about more about that later on. Um, but go ahead and like this video, comment, and subscribe. Just want to acknowledge the Auburn basketball team. Like the video, comment, and subscribe. And as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger War Eagle.